Hey guys, it's been a while since uh, I did one of these uh, vlog things and uh, here I am right now and I'm doing it at this moment is walking in Central Park, the reservoir and uh, some nice music over here, jazz type stuff. I've got a guitar player and a saxophone. I actually stopped after I recorded this video and uh, talked to these guys. They were very nice young guys from New Jersey, uh, talking maybe about doing some recording together quite good. The uh, saxophone player in particular was amazing. And uh, at my request, they did a, a great version of In a Sentimental Mood, uh, transcending. So, wonderful. So, what's been happening, I've been playing some live gigs with my band. And I have to say, it's a bit, been a bit rough. Uh, I don't know. I haven't. Uh, I haven't done this that much, being the leader and front man of a band. So, um, so I, I've made several miscalculations. Number one is that uh, I uh, scheduled a whole bunch of practices with these guys that are extremely busy, and so we ended up practicing with just parts of the band. And uh, we didn't all play together until we went upstate. And uh, <laughs> people had different ideas about where things were in the song. Uh, and so uh, we got a little confused as far as the arrangements. And uh, I, uh, the other thing is that I, uh, I really included like all three records. So there was 44 songs, and then there was another 10 songs of uh, BOC stuff, and I thought maybe we should have some covers. So it ended up being about 60 songs that I tried to get these guys to learn. And I had like only a couple weeks to do it. So, and they were extremely busy. So you see, see the problem there. So uh, anyway, I. Uh, I realized, I looked over at the contracts of these gigs that I got coming up, these next four gigs. Like the O'Brien's gig was fine. I mean, we could have had 60 songs for that. No, we couldn't. Really, uh, when I started making the sets, it was only 36. So I was like, oh man, I gotta cut this. Okay, this one's no problem cutting out. You know, like uh, a song like Imagine Us Overture, which would be fun to play. You know, it's an instrumental and nobody's heard it, really. I mean, nobody up there in the bar had heard it, so. Uh, so anyway, uh, so I had too many songs and I, I weaned them down like right before we went up there to like, you know, 40 songs. And then uh, now we're gonna practice uh, again starting tomorrow. And we're, we're concentrating on basically 20 songs. So it's a lot less, a third of what we had. And uh, I picked the 20 that seemed to be uh, the most memorized ones and the ones that came out best when we played them at uh, the gig of state. And in the meantime, I'm working pretty hard with the dictators uh, we've been recording the last two days and today will be our last day of recording. So far we have four songs, four basic tracks down for four brand new songs. We're not talking covers here. Uh, we're gonna actually uh, ad redo uh, Transmaniacon and that's gonna also appear on the Dictators record as a different version than, than the one on uh, Matt, you know, Smith and Reformation. So, uh, we're gonna do that today. We're gonna, uh, there's just a few little changes that we're gonna make to it because everybody really likes that mix. I mean, so much so that 
they're like, hey, <laughs> can we put this on our album? And I said, yes. So that is something. And then, uh, yeah, so, and we, we have another new song. So that means uh, five new songs and, uh, and really, and then doing the thing with the uh, Transmonic on and also another cover. Uh, we're probably not gonna record that today because uh, it's just the three of us, Andy and Ross and myself, and we don't have Keith Roth, he's busy today. He's actually having a medical procedure. Actually, it seems like everybody is except me. Well, you know, Susie's having a, a something and Andy sure enough is having something and Keith Roth is having something this morning. Andy will be able to play, of course, and, and uh, because we're, we're recording this afternoon, so he's just going to see. It's basically a checkup for him. And what else? Oh, yeah, yeah. Got some, uh, just about to unveil the new uh, website that I designed for the Mendelssohn Glee Club with, uh, with uh, uh, featuring the, our performance at the uh, City Field for the Mets, which uh, I think I detailed that in an Alan Susie show episode. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's, that's part of the deal, part of uh, what's been going on, Mendelssohn's. Uh, uh, we went last night to see Mike Fort Fornatel and his, uh, his band, his, his horde that he has up there on stage. I think there's like 15 people. I don't know, it could be an exaggeration, but he played this gig and we went to see it. It was wonderful. And I saw one of my friends, uh, a good friend and a fan for many years. And he uh, does, he works uh, with uh, brain injury and, and things like that. And he was telling me some amazing things, the stem cell, uh, treatments that regenerate brain tissue that's been destroyed. I mean, mostly, you know, the, the th common thing is that once you screw up your brain, it's it's gone forever. Well, there might be a, there might be a, a different thing that can happen now. So it's a brave new world of medicine and especially the things with the brain. So anyway, with that, I'm going to leave you this is all my comments. Maybe I'll put some uh, some sound behind it or not. But uh, this is all I got for you. So happy uh, July, Moe's Cowbell. And uh, thank you for listening. And sorry it's taken me so long to, to, to get it together. But, uh, you know, here I am again, still alive, still rocking, you know, thanking God or whatever it is, the universal consciousness for... For guiding me and and, uh, and uh, you know being wonderful so I uh, hope you're having a great day and uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time take care <laughs>